All of us who share a passion for angling and wildlife know that freshwater rivers and lakes are wonderful places to be, for this is surely some of the most beautiful countryside in Britain. And it's a belief that is shared by many who simply love the great outdoors. You know, I've been a mad keen angler since I was a kid. I've enjoyed all sorts of fishing, sea fishing, coarse fishing, fly fishing for pike and bass. But this has to be one of my favorites, trying to find a grayling with a fly that I've tied myself. And if it works, it's brilliant. Whether on a river or lake, there is mystery and excitement for all. And the drama of the unexpected. See that? What did it go for it? It's coming. Yes, well done. That was superb. You actually saw that and yeah. dropped it down to yeah. it. It looks just perfect, doesn't it? Crystal clear waters with lots of wildlife. But looks can be deceiving. Below the surface, there are problems. Wild fish populations are decreasing and those that are alive are small. Invertebrate life has declined dramatically. Fly hatches are not what they used to be and fish go hungry. The mayfly can still be enjoyed on some rivers, but it took a friend of mine four years to get these shots of the life and death struggles of this wonderful ephemeral fly. Fly hatches are rare because there are silent killers on the loose. This pastoral scene looks idyllic, but the chemicals used to keep the sheep healthy are poisoning the river. And there's badly treated sewage outflows, contaminated rainwater runoff from roads, and industrial effluent to cope with too. Modern society puts ever increasing pressures on the environment, so we must continue working with farmers, water companies and others to gain their cooperation and minimize their impact on our rivers and lakes. But for now, the flies which are essential to all aquatic life are dying. Their numbers are down in some places by 70% from their historic norm. Fish and birds don't have enough to eat. Grey wagtails and dippers struggle to feed their young. Only one youngster successfully fledging from a brood of four. The charming water vole is in drastic decline too. The foreign mink that have escaped fur farms are killing them and the destruction of habitat by dredgers and flash flooding contribute to their demise. On many occasions there is not enough water, due mainly to excessive abstraction for human use, or there is too much drainage leading to flash floods which wash silt off the fields and roads into rivers and dump it onto vital spawning beds. Trout have to work hard on the silt-choked shallows, struggling to create clean gravel in which to lay their eggs and to ensure a good flow of oxygenated water during the incubation period. Migrating salmon need plenty of water if they're to reach their reds. But when there is sufficient flow, they can be 30 miles upriver before the sea lice have dropped off. However, 
obstructions can stand in their way. Fish passes are vital, and with the advent of global warming, waiting for sufficient water is dangerous. Predation and disease hangs over the whole freshwater world like the sword of Damocles. So, what can be done? Well, just as salmon are determined to reach their goal, so too are thousands of game anglers. We've recently been granted charitable status, true recognition of the work we have successfully undertaken and continue to undertake as a fighting force against all this decline and death on behalf of all lovers of aquatic life. We are called the Salmon and Trout Association. We've been working to protect and preserve our waterways for over a hundred years, but now we are a charity, we'll be even more effective. Improved scientific research will provide the evidence and ammunition with which to lobby our government and educate those who have the power and influence to change things for the better. It's the Game Anglers Charity. Thousands of us protecting freshwater wildlife. But we need to achieve more and with hard work and determination and the continued support of our members, we will. And our rivers and lakes will once again provide a harvest of happy memories as in past decades. Nice right. silver fish, beautiful. Well, uh, I won't make a snatch at him. No, I'll just bring Slide. him. Slide. Bring him over you. Yeah. 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 Come on, right. boy. Come on there. Get him in. There he goes. No. Well right. done, Bob. This fish is a little miracle representing, as it does, the past, the present, and the future. And us anglers need to do more to ensure that it has a future, and do more to provide our children with a future too. The freshwater world is reaching a critical stage, and we need more members and their charitable donations to help us to overcome the problems, and we need it now. So, join us and add your support for the many pressing issues we tackle every day. These range from using European legislation to fight excessive water abstraction and habitat degradation to influencing national policies for the conservation of trout, sea trout and salmon and all other species. And, most importantly, inspiring the next generation to treasure these precious natural resources. By joining forces, each one of us buys a lot of influence for very little outlay. And would you like to tell these youngsters that you couldn't afford just £3.34 per month to provide them and their children with a healthy environment in which to live? So there you are. It's only £3.34 a month. Think about it. But don't put it off. Join today.